I'm here with Michael Hello. from Google. Good enough, yeah. And you're uh, based here in London, right? That's so right. What are you doing at Google? I'm based in London. Uh, I cover all of uh, Europe, Middle East, and uh, and uh, Africa region. You know, I'm mostly uh, focusing in UK and Europe. But basically, I, I cover Chrome in HTML5 developer relations. So working yeah. with external companies. Uh, finding partners who are doing interesting things with HTML5 and Chrome, and we work with them. So right now on the Chrome Web Store, we work with them towards the launch. So we've got some nice apps in, in there for when the Chrome Web Store launches. Yeah. We also go to events like this. Great. Uh, what excites you right now? Right now, there's a whole ton of things happening with HTML5 because it just covers so many different areas. And what I talked about at the conference here was about offline air, uh, technologies, so doing things like application cache, uh, which basically lets, lets uh, people download the entire application so that it can be run offline. But just as important, it also means if it's offline, if it's stored on the user's computer, it also starts up straight away, so it's much faster. Mm. And similarly, client-side storage techniques, uh, so there are APIs like web storage or local storage, index database coming on and others which basically do the same thing with the user's data as opposed to the application. And yep, so that's really yeah. like helping to give that experience that's more like the kind of app experience people have been used to from phones and tablets and so yeah. on. Yeah. And uh, is there any company or web service you think really uses this in a good way right now? Uh, I think, well, I think we're about to see a whole ton of games happening. So I yeah. think that's a really exciting general area because yeah. Uh, something I noticed recently, we had a whole bunch of competitions. So there was the JS1K competition, 10K Apart, and Node Knockout. All three of them, the winners were games. Uh -huh. And HTML5 games, or web-powered yeah. web games, and we wouldn't have seen that even a year ago. No. So there's just so much innovation going on because of the canvas, you know, that lets us do graphical manipulation. <laughs> and so that's a really exciting area. But also, can I just highlight a couple of other yeah, things? Yeah, sure, I, sure. I think, What's really interesting too is like we tend to focus on the UI because that's where all the visual sugar is and yeah. looks really pretty. But I think there's also really interesting things happening on the input side as well, and with with the the web uh, web developers being able to get hold of information about the user that previously wasn't possible for the web. So things like uh, camera and microphone APIs that yeah. are coming on, geolocation to detect where the user is and idle detection to detect if the user's gone idle or not. So it's a lot more like uh, the computer can help the user by knowing what the user's up to and whether they're around and whether they're moving around. And all of that's with the user's consent, but I think it's just a much more powerful model for the web. It lets web apps get at the kind of richness that, that we've seen with, with mobile apps, which yeah. are kind of leapfrog the yeah, web. Yeah. And also do the sorts of things that desktop apps have always been able to do, but it's always been quite ugly and not yeah. very well-defined specs and security issues because if you install something on your desktop you don't know what it, what it could be doing whereas this way the user has to explicitly consent to say they're allowed to actually you know the, this particular web app is allowed to you know detect my location but not to store or information or you know detect uh, if I'm idle but not to do something else so it's very specific perform uh, permissioning so that's why you can have all that power now uh, because there is that permissioning model in, in place. So you basically see that we're going to see an explosion of new games, apps, and yeah, so totally, on. Yeah, totally, yeah. Yeah, I mean, with fighting. games, it's like the graphic side, it's like the input side. So imagine, you know, once we start to get camera, I did a demo yesterday that already works with the MacBook, where, and, and it will be the same with, with tablets and phones, where it detects, you know, orientation. Yeah, and, yeah. and that, you know, that's something we're seeing games do. Now we can do that with the web. We can do real-time communication, mm. so networking, um, like a multiplayer games where people are communicating in real time. So it's all possible. Yeah. Sounds great. Thank you, Michael.